Every inch counts in modern kitchens, especially when space is at a premium. As homes get smaller and lifestyles get busier, maximizing every nook and cranny becomes essential. Introducing Simp Homes 21 Space-Saving Details to Transform Your Kitchens. Dive into this guide and discover ingenious design tweaks and functional additions that save you space and elevate the entire look and feel of your culinary haven. Ready to redefine your kitchen's potential? Let's begin. 21. The Pantry for Your Canned Goods Using just 4 square feet, it rotates cans in FIFO order, holding up to 300 pounds. For under $135, craft this from 1 and 3 8 inch plywood, pegboard, and 9 1 by 10 by 8 pine boards. Build in two sections for easy mobility. Its transparent pegboard design ensures quick inventory checks, plus customizable rows that can be adapted to different can sizes. 20. A similar idea, this time for 1,000 cans. Craft 5 rows per shelf for standard veggie cans, each fitting 16 cans. Adapt with smaller cans and adjust widths for varied sizes. Use removable gates for diverse stock and reinforce with cross members or L brackets. No table saw? Opt for a circular saw or router with a 5 8 flat bottom bit. Insert a one-time cut between shelves to maintain 2x4 strength. And if you're eyeing those inventory photos, yep, you're a dedicated prepper. 19. How to rotate less than a dozen cans with a style similar to the previous ideas. Start with 11-inch hardboard strips, saving a 2-inch piece. Craft 8 11 by 12-inch side pieces and mark for shelves. Shape the pine backboard to 11 inches, the bottom shelf to 11 and a quarter inch, and the top to 7 and a half inches. Attach the 2-inch stop to the bottom, assemble, and you're set. Repeat if you need to level up your game. 18. Customizable storage to elevate your root cellar. Grab 3 quarter inch plywood, 1 by 2s, 1 by 3s, 1 by 10s, and 2 by 2s pine boards, wood glue, drywall screws, L brackets, and finish nails. Slice plywood into 16 inch strips and secure with screws. Mark uniform cleat spacing with a story stick. Attach cleats, secure standards 24 to 28 inches apart, and craft ventilated shelves. Assemble solid bottom drawers and bins for optimal storage. Remember, store healthy produce and clean yearly. 17. A Berkwood Multi-Unit Modern Details for Old Cabinets Instead of the usual setup, you can combine wide cabinets with a mix of both large and tiny drawers, plus a handy cupboard right under the hob, perfect for your bakeware. The petite drawers are perfect for your large spice jars or stock cubes. In contrast, the bigger drawers can feature custom Berkwood plywood inserts and a custom color touch. 16 to 14. Three pull-out drawer hacks to give your small space new upgraded details. 1. Thrifty Decor Chicks DIY Slide-Out Pantry. Craft a precision drawer from plywood and trim considering item weight. Use pocket holes, drawer slides, and supports. Personalize with a front panel. Rely on K-Bag screws and the Craig jig. Finalize with paint or caulk. 2. The Accent Pieces Quick Cabinet Drawer Fix The drawer jig by Milescraft simplifies sleek drawer installations. Craft, then assemble with the jig. Tools you need? Drawer jig, clamps, drill, and screws. Double-check your measurement to minimize error. 3. To and Fro Blog's Lux Kitchen Rollout Drawers Get wood, sliders, and a Craig jig from Home Depot. Design drawers tailored to cabinet sizes. Pro tip, reinforce with existing shelves and showcase the plywood's allure. Want $1,600 savings? Follow a live link in the description. 13. A DIY FIFO can storage system from Jasonoid. Build with two 2x8 two wooden pieces, each 7.25 inches wide, reaching a total width of 16 inches. Attach them at a slight angle for can mobility. Using a drywall L-bead, craft rails for the cans. This design allows about 10 cans per 32-inch shelf, fitting 150 cans in total. P.S. Adjust the shelves to fit two smaller soup cans and one larger 24-ounce can, or configure them to hold three 14.5-ounce cans side-by-side. -side. 12. An epic hidden coffee table hack using IKEA. 
Assemble the best of frame and insert a shelf in the lower third. Below that, slide in another shelf and install two push openers. Next, drill holes in the Lapvikan door corners to fit bolts. Modify the door's top to house bolt necks. Trim the lack table legs to size using a table saw, then cut slots to fit the Tassauer bolts. Optional, enhance storage with a custom drawer using a modified Lapvikan drawer front. 11. Turn your storage savvier with a hidden drawer. Using just 3 square feet of 1 8 inch door skin plywood and some solid stock, design a sleek 1 and 1 quarter inch thick by 10 inch wide by 18 inch deep drawer. Start by determining your kitchen drawer's above space, like 1 and a half inches height by 14 inches width by 23 inches depth. Mill your stock to assemble the drawer's frame. Craft a 3 16 inch dado for splines, ensuring smooth glide. Add a lid using door skin plywood. For easy access, attach a handle. Secure guide rails, ensuring a smooth slide, and then store them underneath your cutlery drawer. 9 and 10. Two fridge gap slide out pantry ideas. Spot the difference. 1. Boston 09 slide out pantry. Maximize the 4.5 inch gap by your fridge. Crafted for renters, this DIY requires a 24 inch by 48 inch by 0.75 inch board. Supports, wheels, dowels, and a saw. Build the frame and add shelves, wheels, and handles. 2. Amanda C's version. This time you need 1 inch by 4 inch by 8 foot boards, dowels, paint, and some extras. Adjust to your fridge size, assemble ladder style, fix a back, secure with dowels, paint, and add wheels. 8. Repurpose this DIY outdoor bar cart as your new mobile kitchen. Drill pocket holes and boards. Shape the base and shelf with 2x2s and 1x3s. Carve top semicircles for ice access and add supports. Combine legs, dowels, and structures. Construct the ice bucket box, secure it, and attach slats with a 1 quarter inch gap. Finish with the card's top, add wheels, and personalize with a bottle opener or hooks. 7. A more flexible mobile kitchen idea compared to the previous one. Choose IKEA tubs as easy drawer replacements. Measure, then grab plywood from Home Depot. Bonus if it's discounted like a mislabeled board. Mix new and salvaged plywood, guiding cuts for the bottom, back, and central divider. Sand for smoothness. Reinforce with braces. As it takes shape, craft a hinge stove lid, refine, and prep for polyurethane. 6. A DIY Kitchen Wall Storage Begin by staining the wood for warmth in a cold palette. Determine shelf height and depth, ensuring components include a frame, shelves, lips, and security rails. Assemble the frame, then attach shelves, lips, and rails stably. Sand, fill screw holes, and stain again. Accessorize with kitchen essentials. Finalize for easy access and add finishing touches to your pantry. 5. How to ditch that chaotic spice box on your fridge. No pantry? Craft the next chic wall spice rack. Cut wood, for example 1 by 3 at 13 inches, use a Craig jig for pocket holes, and form four shelves with glue and nails. Space them 5.5 inches apart on a 1 by 4 frame, cap with the top piece. Paint or stain, hang, and display those spices. Bonus, use vinyl decals for stylish, waterproof labels. 4. A DIY pantry door spice rack in just four steps. Grab 14 inch by 3 inch timber boards and measure your pantry door for a perfect spice rack fit. Assemble rectangular units by gluing boards using a quick setting spray for speed. Paint or stain for added flair choosing vibrant colors or rustic finishes. Securely screw your stylish rack to the door and enjoy more organized spices. 3. Modernize your kitchen with this Savvy DIY makeover by Enter My Attic. Measure old fronts, transfer to 18mm plywood, and use tools like the Bosch PKS18LI for precise cuts. Sand smoothly with Advanced Orbit 18. For a durable finish, try Flex's Mui Easy Kitchen Cabinets paint. Replace fronts and add stylish handles. Do you want to save counter space? Innovate with a pull-out coffee shelf and later match your tiles with your updated furniture. 2. Gospel Oak Transformation Plan from Uncommon Projects This time, we'll absorb two of Sydney Cook's architectural techniques 
and his experience to modernize Mansfield Road Estates' 1980s kitchen. First, integrate up-to-date appliances while preserving Benson and Forsyth's striking black lines. Lastly, add a pop with a carnation pink cabinet. It will give a seamless bridge from the past to now, making your kitchen functional yet stylish. Lastly, number one, take the kinetic door idea as a new detail to upgrade your cabinet. Craft a door using two perfect squares. For each half, make a 45 degree angle cut from one corner to the other, and then another cut parallel positioned midway between the first angle and the corner where the halves meet. While our author initially considered using magnets, the door naturally snapped shut without them. However, ensure that the corners with the bearings, both top and bottom, are adequately reinforced for longevity. For additional strength, apply the technique demonstrated at 2 minutes 5 seconds of the source video to the central bearings. Consider integrating barrel hinges, akin to those used in jewelry boxes, for a more subtle and concealed look. 